Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. In today's video, we're taking a look at two ad tech stocks that are rated strong buys and have some pretty attractive upside potential. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. Like I said, today we're taking a look at two ad tech companies that have multiple buy ratings from analysts and their price targets would mean some pretty great growth over this next year. We're gonna take a closer look at these companies, what it is that they do, and exactly what analysts are predicting for their stock's future. Just before we get into that, this is a friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. All right, let's get right Right into these two companies. We'll be starting off with the Perion Network. Trading under the ticker PERI, they're currently priced at about $18.22 per share. And on the TipRank's Smart Score, they come in with an outperform rating and a 10 out of 10. We have very positive TipRank's investor sentiment, bullish blogger opinions, and increased hedge fund activity. Perion is well positioned to capitalize on any shifting budget between the three main pillars of digital advertising ecosystem, search, social, and display or CTV. Every brand has the same burning need to capture new users, engage them, and convince them. Each of their solutions accomplishes that with extraordinary efficiency. From their deep reading of intent signals to their award-winning creative and their proven ability to generate six minutes of optimized content stickiness. Perion is focused on the future and has built a tech stack that drives their capture and convince business solutions. Their AI and machine learning can be applied to sourcing and optimizing traffic, transforming dumb funnels into smart consumer journeys. Their current products enable online content publishing, search monetization, and actionable monitoring. The company's partner agreements span a range of industries and include some big names like Target, McDonald's, NBC, and Visa. A look at Perry's pattern of quarterly earnings shows that their Q4 is typically the highest with a dip into Q1, and this year was no exception when the top line slipped from $118 million in the fourth quarter to $89 million in the first quarter. Year over year, however, the Q1 revenue was up 34%. Earnings per share followed the same pattern, and the Q1 earnings per share of $0.10 cents was double the $0.05 cents reported in the year-ago quarter. They ended Q1 of 2021 with zero debt and $128 million in total net cash. Perion expects their strong growth to continue. The company recently pre-announced their Q2 results, predicting year-over-year -year revenue gains of 74% and adjusted EBITDA growth of 440% year-over-year. Covering the stock for Oppenheimer is five-star analyst Jason Helfstein. And he wrote after the first quarter results that Perion's first quarter 2021 results and guidance suggest the company is effectively capitalizing on broad-based digital advertising tailwinds. Search outperformance was the primary driver of their first quarter beat as Perry delivered a record 17.7 million average daily visits to Microsoft Bing throughout the quarter, driving search revenue up over 22% year over year. And they've now paid off all outstanding debt, finishing the quarter with that 128 million in that cash. Jason is one of five analysts that have a current rating on the Perion stock. And it comes in with a strong buy rating on four buys and one hold. Their average price target is $28, which would be a 53% growth from current prices. Our highest price target comes from Roth Capital at $35, which would be a 92% upside. So some very bullish outlooks there. Now the second company we're taking a look at is Digital Turbine. Trading under the ticker APPS, they're currently priced at $65 per share. And once again, we have a 10 out of 10 for an outperform rating on the TipRank's Smart Score. We have very positive investor sentiment, bullish news and blogger opinions, and positive technicals and fundamentals. Digital Turbine is the leading independent growth and monetization platform and powered by code installed on devices by global carriers and OEMs. Digital Turbine simplifies content discovery and delivers it directly to the device. Its on-device media platform powers frictionless app and content discovery, user acquisition and engagement, operational efficiency, and monetization opportunities. 
digital turbines technology platform has been adopted by more than 40 mobile operators and OEMs and has delivered more than 3 billion app preloads for tens of thousands of advertising campaigns. Their Ignite platform is installed directly on devices by top carriers to simplify app and content discovery for end users. Their advertisers include some obviously pretty big names here. We have Amazon, TikTok, Facebook, Uber, YouTube, the list goes on and on here. And big names for their operators as well with AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Samsung. In fact, Digital Turbine boasts over 40 different operator partnerships and over 500 advertiser partnerships and a monthly reach that is one and a half billion hits. Digital Turbine has also made some important acquisitions in the past few months. In April, the company completed its acquisition of Ad Colony, a mobile advertiser with more than 1.5 billion monthly global users. Ad Colony brings proprietary tech and rich media formats to Digital Turbine's offerings. And in May, they completed their acquisition of Fiber NV, the Berlin-based mobile advertising monetization platform. This brings to the table expertise in mediation and real-time bidding, along with more than 180 programmatic demand partners. Taking a look at the numbers, the app's stock has seen a revenue increase in every quarter for the past two years. In the most recent quarterly report, their Q4 of 2021, the company showed $95.1 million in quarterly revenue, which would be 142% growth from the year-ago quarter. Their revenue and gross profit grew 146 and 166% respectively in the most recent fully reported quarter, driving more than 300% annual growth in EBITDA, 278% annual growth in non-GAAP earnings per share, and 214% annual growth in free cash flow. Five-star analyst Darren Aftahi covers the stock from Roth Capital. And he is impressed by the company's acquisitions and growth ramp, writing that the core app's strength and single tap ramp is what remains exciting and driving the upside to its first quarter guidance above expectations for fiber, mostly ahead of the potential revenue cost synergies that could be realized throughout the year, along with the overall global expansion and healthy demand. Their risk reward looks highly attractive in light of growth prospects and potential cross sell catalysts from its slew of acquisitions. Once again, Darren is one of five analysts with current ratings on the Digital Turbine stock. It comes in as a strong buy with an average price target of $107.60, which would be growth of 65% from current prices. Our highest price target does come from a no-star analyst at Maxim Group with an upside potential over 103%, while the rest range between 30 to 76% upside. So there are two strong buy ad tech companies that analysts think have some definite attractive upside potential for this next year. Now, I always love hearing from you guys, so make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below on these two companies. Are they ones that you've heard of before and what do you think of their future potential? Please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for entertainment and information purposes. Always make sure you're doing your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you back here next time.